to the Whistling Diesel YouTube channel. Uh, as you've probably seen already, we are now members of Camber Gang. Um, you see the wheels, this is a new thing these days, the wheels kind of tip out a lot like that. Uh, both sides are like that, really. Um, so, yeah, I did that myself. I like the way it looks. Uh, it looks great. These are 38s on 38-inch um, tires on double stacked two inch wheel spacers. So what we're gonna be doing today, as you all know, this truck has a very good reputation of a lot of horsepower. So uh, I've put it on the dyno once and that was it because uh, that dyno completely blew up, flames everywhere, shot the rollers right out the back, blew out my whole rear axle, shot the twin transmissions right at the bottom of it. So obviously traction is the biggest problem here. Uh, I have four and five wheel drive. So that fifth wheel there is the spare. It'll spin the spare if I launch too hard. So obviously all the wheels just spin. I kind of sit there and you know, they just, I don't even move any, even on pavement. I have here today, I'm really excited to introduce to you guys, Catchmaster bulk rodent glue for catching large rodents, such as large crossing, road crossing groundhogs to kind of get in your way. Uh, you know, large, you know, even deer um, and stuff. I'm gonna dump this out. We're gonna paste it on the road. It's a nice double, you know, patches out there, real thick. And uh, we're gonna start off in two wheel drive without the glue and see how the tires spin. And then we're gonna put the glue down and see if we get better traction. So there are a freaking ton of warning labels on this thing. Uh, they have these like adult, child proof or adult proof tabs on here so that no one can get into it. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen, there's a bunch of YouTube videos. They set out huge pads of this. So people go and lay down in it with like plastic protective stuff and they can't get them out. They just died there. And so anyways, it's really dangerous obviously. So it says like warning. Use extreme caution when handling hot glue. Substance behaves like hot oil. Will evaporate your skin and bones. Uh, heat resistant gloves and protective eyewear. Face guard and hazmat suit recommended if you get within 20 yards of it. So obviously safety first. Um, anyways, so let's pop off these tabs and see um, what's going on under here. Wait, oh my gosh. Oh, it smells so good. My bones are probably fine, don't worry. It said it could evaporate like bones. Just forget about it. Oh my gosh, guys. Holy cow, look at that. I just barely touched it. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at that right there. That's lifting the can up. That is lifting the whole can up just by barely touching it there. What are you doing? Have a bar finger. Alrighty boys, so believe it or not, this is only the two or three hundredth burnout I've done with this truck. Uh, but we're gonna see now how it does without the rodent trap blue. And uh, this is gonna be fun, let's see what happens. I don't know if it'll come out of the can. <laughs> come on! No! Oh, it's denting in the can. It's so thick. Look at this. Maybe, maybe this will work. <laughs> come on. Logan and I have been trying for like 20 minutes to get this stuff out of here. And it is so freaking thick. Like, we're pulling as hard as we can and it won't come out. Ah! So, it's gonna take a while. Oh my gosh, like that's 15, 20 pounds hanging on there. And I could, I could throw that thing and it wouldn't come off of there. This is why my neighbors hate me. <laughs> oh man. Oh man, oh my gosh, guys. That is some thick stuff. Oh 
Oh my gosh. So you guys probably tell by now how thick that stuff is. Let's give it a shot. It lifted off. <laughs> I so up. Uh, oh, it's pulling the asphalt up. <laughs> 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 It's oh, pulling crap. the pavement off of the road. Oh my gosh. That's that's stupid strong, guys. Jeez, it's pulling the road up. I'm I'm very sorry, uh, highway department. I promise I will patch any potholes, even though you haven't you, you haven't patched your potholes, I know that. Anyways, don't worry, we'll fix what we break. Um so uh man, there's already strings coming up and getting on the wrap. Like little strings of that stuff. Obviously, it's not going to come out, so um, we're just going to have to buff it into there, whatever gets on there. But yeah, uh, the truck is rolling. I'm in neutral, downhill, not pushing on the pedal any. The truck is rolling, and it's slowing the truck down every time I hit that stuff. So it's, it's holding the whole truck back. So um, hopefully, we don't just delaminate the entire road. Uh, we're going to floor it, and we're going to see what happens. It's like slinging strings everywhere. They're all over my phone right now. They're all over me. Uh, they're all over everyone. So uh, we're gonna keep doing burnouts because this stuff is like really loosening up as it gets hot. So. My truck just went into limp mode. I've never had that happen. Something with the whole transmission and going to like jello inside or something like that. But I'm gonna do one more burnout just for fun. So, uh... Freaking thing. Like, here comes a little Amish girl. <laughs> that little Amish girl is probably gonna have her bike like stuck to this road permanently. Here's some really funny looking burnout marks. They're <laughs> like all like crooked and backwards and everything. <laughs> to pull my boots off. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, that's just it's just stupid strong. I will not allow my lovely neighbors to suffer the consequences of my immature actions here. So don't worry guys, we know what we're doing. We'll get this cleaned up in no time. Very nice. Not even sticky anymore as you can see. So if you notice by now, if you've been subscribed for a few weeks, I never clickbait anything ever. If I say I'm gonna do something, I do it. And I try not to make the thumbnail deceiving or anything. Uh, it really annoys me, you know, people before I start YouTube, I see all these videos, I click on them, it's a complete waste of time. 
just really deceiving thumbnail. I try and never do that in my videos. If I'm surprised, I make it look like I'm surprised. If I'm not surprised, I don't put that in the thumbnail, you know? So, uh, we're trying to, you know, make legitimate, good content that you enjoy watching. Oh, there's a truck coming, oh my God. Oh, it didn't get too bad. Everyone's tired, so you can see a little bit of residue they stick it as they're driving off. It's picking up gravel and stuff. It's not hurting their vehicles, don't worry. It's just like road tar. Big thank you to Logan once again for filming for me. Well, that was fun. Now you know what happens when you drive through rodent trap glue. Uh, I will be honest, the wrap on this side is fine and the wrap on this side over here is kind of screwed. Uh, just not much you can do about this. I don't know how the heck I'm going to get that off of there. Uh, I'm kind of really worried about it to be honest, but uh, <laughs> that's probably going to come off when I take the wrap off. Also, we're currently working on a website to sell these decals. Uh, it won't be just like this. we got a whole new, better design coming out. Uh, hopefully, we'll have the website live soon. So follow the Instagram if you want the link to that coming up soon. And then, uh, like we, I said, we have rose gold, uh, chrome, and a bunch of different colors. But uh, we're going to have t-shirts and keychains and stuff, all that available eventually. So big thank you to Ryan Snyder 114 and uh, Titan Builder 1 for helping out with the website on that. And uh, I guess the next video this weekend coming up is Ultimate Call Out Challenge. So um, that is basically all of the most powerful diesels that we know of in existence, all at one location, all at the same time. Uh, you know, just going down the drag strip and doing dyno pulls and uh, sled pulling and all that. Three day event and uh, it's freaking crazy. Every single truck blows up. I don't think there's, there might be one or two trucks that don't break something. So it's really fun to go watch like two 2,500 horsepower trucks, you know, just going all out and just breaking everything. They're changing out transmissions and stuff right there at the show so you can go walk and see all that. So it's really cool. So I'm going to be a judge at the show and shine there. For all of you loyal Duramax fans, do not worry. This truck is getting built into Monster Max soon enough. It'll be over before you know it. We'll have the five tons and the giant freaking wheels on this thing. LP24 valve is still doing that. Um, good stuff doesn't happen instantly. So this is getting built. The Ford is getting a 12 valve swap by fall, hopefully if everything goes according to plan. And then uh, I bought a new truck. Uh, so I can't really say any more than that, but there's a new truck coming. Uh, so hopefully, like I said, the, the plan is eventually we're going to have trucks all the way back to that woods back there. That's the goal. Back to back, just all the whistling, the whole whistling diesel crew. So thanks for watching. Uh, I really appreciate y'all loyal fans. Enjoy watching my stuff and um, drop some comments below, you know, other stuff we can run.